Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. Here we are for another episode of our Hunter Valley Zoo series. Um, quick recap, as always. Little exhibits here. We've got our... Uh, what are they? Our African wild dogs in here. Our tortoises. We've got our aardvarks and beards to peer. Or tapir to peer. I don't know what you call it. We've got our... Um, what are these guys? Mole monitors in here. God, I forget what things are called. And over here we did our last episode, which is the hyena, which is not that exciting. I mean, it's all right, but it's not, you know, amazing. Um, what I want to do is I need to get some more power into here. We need to get some more power into here too. I've sort of got um, the layout down. Um, this is probably way oversized compared to what I really need. But our next episode is going to be the Indian peafowl, which is going to be in here. Then we're going to go with the common warthog here, the Komodo dragon. I've got um, another th four exhibits, so three frogs and a snail to go in here as far as exhibit goes. Um, we've got the Japan makaki, makor, makak, I don't know what they call it in here, which is going to take quite a while to be able to get due to conservation credits. We've got the Chinese... Um, Pangolin in here. We've got the bonobo monkey there as well. We've got uh, what's that? The Nyala, the ring lemur, a barbecue area here, huge walkway. We've got the chimpanzee, the red lemur. Going to have the gazelle in here. We're going to have a cape, the sable antelope. What the sable what? What did I say? Antelope. I don't know. Anyway, here we're going to have the um, pronghorn, the pronghorn antelope. We're going to have the cheetah down this side. Uh, barbecue, greater flamingo. We're going to have in here um, black wildebeest, common ostrich, and the sable antelope in here. We're going to have the bacterian, 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 bacterian camel in here. The wolves up this end, uh, the Bengal tigers, the lions, and the crocodiles in here. Now, one other thing I was thinking of is we need to sort of have another part of the zoo uh, which is only accessed by staff members uh, up here, maybe to put, you know, baby crocodiles, uh, baby turtles, and all that sort of stuff, move them around from when they're born into here, just to, to keep them away from most of, like, most of the people and that sort of stuff. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. I think it's going to be a pretty good idea, especially for here. We've got um, that many tortoises in here, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 babies in here, and they're, the keepers are struggling to keep up with these guys, so we could probably move, you know, 10 of them, 8 to 10 of them out of here into their own little enclosure over here. Nothing fancy like this, just a standard enclosure, nice and small, um, and all that sort of stuff. So from here back, I guess, you know, we could do we could do that sort of the baby area just to keep them away from the main the main zoo itself uh, mechanic research what are we doing? doing barriers I'd like to get these staff facilities done um, have a look have we got mechanics Tanisa and May, Mame or Mame so get rid of you Mame can go to there and Tanisha can go to there. Get those guys studying away. As I said, this one here is going to be the Indian peafowl. So let's have a look at what they're after. HI, Indian peafowl. I know they want, you know, 4 males, 16 females, which is a huge amount. Um, dominance male territorial. How much room do they need? 312 square meters. I'm pretty sure we can actually get our, our guests can actually enter the habitat too. So it's one thing we might do. We haven't done that yet. So let's have a look at doing that as well. Let's get our get our staff path this way. I'll deselect the grid. No, we don't want that. We want that. And that. Like that. So 
the Indian peafowl. It's going to go this way. Um, I don't know exactly what sort of fence we need. Grade 1, only a metre. So grade 1 is pretty much the hedge. I don't really like the idea of the hedge. It was sort of going for more of a corrugated wooden log sort of thing. Um, so let's go... Let's go wooden log. I only want to go, say, 10 metres this way. So like that. I want to go 20 metres. Let's put that in. Let's go another 10 metres. And then we can head, head back a little bit. So let's go 20 metres, 20, let's go 20, 20, and we should be able to join that together, hopefully, if we can get the right angle. I did see it before somewhere. Why does it want to join there but not here? Which is really annoying. Sometimes you sort of just got to make the fences a little bit smaller. Which we can do. There we go. So we need to have another, another sort of staff area in the back here as well, I think, just to service all these guys. So let's quickly go to our paths. Um, so we're going to have a bit of a walkway there, a bit of a walkway there. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room. Alright, and you can see this crocodile enclosure is massive, probably way too bloody big, so we'll have to look at that later on. Um, what I want to do is grab this guy. So grab that, can we drop this down to... Should do that. Can we get it? So it um, I don't know if we can actually what if we got this. That's what I want to do, but I don't want to do it like that. I just want that to drop down to one meter so maybe we need to there we go drop that down to a meter then we're gonna to have to put in a um, guest gate all right so this is going to be interesting to see if we can get this to work um, I sort of want the guest gate over here Right, so let's go with paths, see if we can't get rid of these guys. Let's go barriers again, guest gate. Sort of want to go in the center there, there we go. Another one here, sort of in the center. Alright, let's go back into our paths, hopefully we can Join these up. Alright, like this. Alright, so that's. I'll get rid of that. That's not what I wanted to do. Get rid of that for a second. Um, double click on this. Go like that, there we go, guest gate I don't think it's quite going to work the way I wanted it to, the same as the other side which really doesn't matter too much I suppose but it would be nice to have it the same as the other side right, so get that done, let's go paths get rid of that Uh, no, let's get rid of that. Oh, it's a shame that we can't get one more under there. Right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of this again. Um, that should be fine. Let's go pass. Align to grid. 
there, it's got a star path. Oop, get rid of that, deselect the grid, get that there. Double click on this, get that to there. Let's go guest gate, there we go. We've got a bit of a gap, so let's go to about there. Alright, beautiful. So we'll be able to put like an info board in here. The guests will be able to come for a bit of a walk, not too much of a walk, I don't think. Um, let's go with a bit of a wooden walkway, I guess. Alright, get that to go. Alright, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's really annoying that I know what I want to do, like I want to get them Of that. See how it just doesn't doesn't want to play the game. So let's go 4590, 45, 90, like that. There we go. So that'll give us somewhere to walk. Actually, let's go. Let's take that out for a second because it'd be pretty cool if we could actually. Yeah, put a little bit of water at the front here or something. So you can still see them, but then you're not, you know, right on top of them. So let's smooth this out. Alright, so get these paths in and then we'll speed build the rest of it. But I sort of wanted you guys here for, you know, the first 10, 15 minutes like I usually do. Then we can speed build after that. Right, there we go. Let's go back to our paths. Alright, so we can't. We have to come out one, and then a 45. Which isn't too bad. So that works out well. Can we go... Actually, we might need to put the water in first. Usually how it works. Alright, so path. Okay, obstructed by water volume. We might need to go just that one down. There we go. Alright, so one, two, forward, 45. Like that, like that. Awesome. And then I can sort of turn this into like a little retreat for for these guys as well. Uh, let's Alright, can we get rid of the water again? Which means we can't. Alright, get rid of the water again. Give me a little bit more room. Alright, something like that will be nice. It's a little bit extra room. Alright, finally. Get that in. This should be the last time we do this. Boom, there we go. So, a little bit of room if they need to sort of come into the water here and that sort of stuff. So, let's go quickly paint the terrain. We'll just short grass. We'll probably have to come back and paint it again with something else, but. Alright, we'll paint around the outside. Alright, so we've got keepers for there. We need a keeper hut in the centre here to sort of get all these guys. So let's quickly come back into our star path. Bring this all the way down. Actually get rid of that one. In our staff path. Let's bring it over to there somewhere and then to here like this. Right, that'll do. So we can sort of try and centralise everything if we can. Let's just quickly get this stuff connected. So we should be able to align to grid again. Let's 
There we go, like that. Get rid of this, we should be able to go. Um, 90 degrees. There we go, beautiful. Alright, so that's the enclosure. Let's come back through and go barriers, put in our staff gate. Let's probably get it off to the side here somewhere, like this. Get rid of that, that's good. So I think that's sort of how we're going to leave it at the moment. I'd like to be able to raise this fence up a little bit you know, as we sort of get back to the back. But what I'll do is I'll do, throw in a bit of time lapse here, guys, and we'll come back at the end and we'll have a good look through.
Rightio guys, well, we're done. Hopefully you guys like this one. Um, once again the game is frozen, which is really, really weird. The new update has caused a lot of issues for me, I think. Um, anyway, while it's frozen you can see we've put in a custom little shelter here with glass windows so we can see in. Um, and they can see out a little bit. Wooden back, we've got the straw slash hay roof with the logs holding it up. And um, we've got two screens at the front here. And I think we've got two microphones under the water here, which should give us enough sound for all of these guys. We've got our custom bridge with our railings and our supports underneath. Do not feed signs. A couple of, um, well, four I should say, four donation boxes. I've thrown in a little bit of um, flower work along the front here. Some shrubs here and here to stop people from walking around to get into the enclosure on both sides. A nettle will certainly stop people. A little bit of rockery around the front here. We've got, um, here we go, finally, some trees at the back here. We've got the forage box, we've got a feeder, we've got the water there, we've got a sprinkler, which is a little bit off the ground, I think. There we go. Um, two feeding pens here, some scent and all that sort of stuff. So let's have a look at the peafowl now. Ha happy as Larry with all this stuff. Happy as through here, nutrition, environment. Um, see if we can have a look at genetics, compare mates. These guys should make, you know, pretty successful, pretty successful babies, I suppose. So they're a young adult. So they've got a fair while before they hit elderly stage, so that's pretty good. Um, out the front here, let's quickly paint in um, our soil as always paint the soil through here for the walkway I did put this um, this road in down here this walkway so people can come straight through this way so head down straight to the peafowls if that's where they want to go first uh, put in a couple of bins and that sort of stuff. We have, I don't think we have bins over this side, so we need to have a look at that quickly while we're here. Um, I want to throw in a few bins because people are quite disgusting. It's just not what I wanted. So we're recycling bins. Uh, another one down here somewhere. There we go. We get any along here. I haven't got any along here either. Let's just throw in a couple either end. There, let's show a group of bins. Ah, stop picking that love heart thing there. A couple through there. We do have bins all along here. Security cameras. Which I haven't put any of these in for a while, so let's duplicate these guys. Put another one there. Let's just go into uh, facilities. Um, security camera. There we go. That should probably help us a little bit to try and minimise people doing the wrong thing. Let's put another one down here. And let's put another one. Where did that go? Don't want it there. Another one there, but I think because we're inside inside here, I think if we throw a couple up over there, that won't hurt. I wonder if that actually affects them though. Nope. Good. Alrighty, so pretty happy with that. As you can see, our guests can walk in and through, but the peafowls can't get out. I'm pretty sure if we go, where did they go? So one here. You can actually click on him. Press H and go to habitat. Uh, there's nowhere at all that can get out. It's plenty happy with the size. Once we start to get more peafowls, I don't think it'd be quite as happy with the size, but. I don't know if I need to put all rocks along here or just leave it as it is. I think it's it's not too bad. Um, 
go some more to special effects. Uh, water splash. I don't know if we really need rapids. Some foam. We could probably get um. Waterfall bottom. No. Sort of thinking ooh, if we can actually. Get something like that. Sort of just adds to the effects, I guess. I have to put it the whole way along, but I guess we can sort of say that this is the way we're sort of refiltering the water through the exhibit. Something a little bit different as well. Something to give you know the PFL something to look at. But hopefully these guys will do reasonably well. Any donations at the moment? No donations at the moment. Absolutely nothing. Hopefully they start throwing money at us soon. Didn't cost us too much, but but it's actually you know not a bad little enclosure. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far. If you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Prado. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.